I don't know if y'all have seen the video of Wendy Williams. It's really recent. It came out today. You can check a clip out on Ball Alert, um, probably in the shade room. And um, she's basically talking about um, how she does. She feels that it's unfair that black people, even though she is a black woman, that black people, um, that she would feel offended if um, someone else had an all white club and you don't see all white people having a white organization and, and black people shouldn't be doing that. And on BET and that his speech was very poignant on one hand. On the other hand, you know, I would be really offended if there was a school that was known as an historically white college. We have historically black colleges. It, what if there was the N National Organization for White People only? There's the NAACP, National. By the way, what, what is the C? College? What a lot of people fail to realize is when you're not accepted, if someone constantly is telling you, no, you can't go, no, you're not accepted here, we don't allow people of your kind, you're going to end up making a group where you're accepted. If I'm not accepted because of the color of my skin and I want to get educated, doesn't it make sense for me to go make a college? What is wrong with people? They feel as though we're making a group because it's anti-white and we're, it's, it's surrounded by hate. But it's not surrounded by hate like the KKK. The KKK is centered around hate. Black Lives Matter, NAACP, and HBCUs, historically black universities, are not centered around hate. It's centered around the fact that we want to uplift each other because we weren't shown love back then. We weren't respected back then. So we wanted to be in a place where we were respected, where we were uplifted, and where we were appreciated. And I don't understand why that's so, such an issue for someone. Anybody else can go make a club. Anybody else can go to an institution. My institution did not accept African Americans in the 70s. And I was told that by a woman some time ago. And she told me to finish at my university because I will be making a statement because people of my kind weren't accepted. So I'm trying to understand what's the issue on why we have groups that aren't centered around hate, but to center, but but just to uplift my own near and dear historically black roots. I don't understand why Wendy Williams would take it upon herself and the way she looks to not use to to not use her platform to help support us. Why would you sit on sit in front of all those viewers and try to downplay? something when you know you're wrong and if you look at the clip in the video you can you can hear the you can hear a pin drop because the audience is so quiet because they know she's wrong and they're not backing her up on what she's saying because they know it's not right i just think it's so ignorant it's not our groups are not centered around hate if you're not accepted into something why not go make something else where you can feel loved where you can feel respected where you can get an education because we weren't always accepted. It took some time for black people to even be accepted in universities like I attend or other universities. So yes, we have historically black universities. And no, we're not, we're not excluding anyone else. They were just formed to support black people. If you want to go out, out and join a HBC, you want to join a NAACP, you have every right to join it. We're not saying you can't join it. We say, what we're saying is it's specifically to uplift our kind because we weren't uplifted years ago. Understand that, respect that, and get out your feelings.